Well, good afternoon, everybody. Had to take a little run into town. Needed to pick up a new piece of equipment. This is a much more appropriate power food maker than the one we had. And especially with the hand bales, this is going to be absolutely perfect. So, we got all our weed in. Everything is just honky-dory on that level. So, we're going to park to this guy... Oh, I don't know. Right about here. Perfect. Okay. So, bailing. We need to bail now. And I'm going to use the case, because it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon right now. And I'm afraid that we're not going to get it done on time. So, I need to be able to work well into the night. And to do that, we're going to need lights. And unfortunately, our little case has got absolutely atrocious lighting. One of the downsides. Not a big deal, but... Whoa, come on. Ooh. Wow, okay. Looks like uh, I may have parked that a bit too close to the wall, and uh, during a restart, it uh, kind of got sucked in. No biggie, but kind of creepy. So, let's hook up our wagon here. The attaching point for the wagon should be directly behind the bale cage. So, though I cannot see it, I should be able to back it into the right spot. I'm guessing about there. Let's go see how we did. Oh, look at that. Almost like the pros do it. Almost. Okay, let's get out to the field. Oh my god, these chickens. These chickens, they're everywhere. Don't get me wrong, I love the chickens being everywhere. I think it's super cool. Okay, so. I don't know if we'll be able to do all of this stuff before sundown. But. We need to give it a try. So, how do I attack this? I figure up and down and then we'll pick up the pieces afterwards. So, unfolding first. There it goes. Power it up. Drop the nozzle. Begin bailing. That's not a great view back there. Oh yeah, I forgot. This thing is like pig pen from Charlie Brown. It's a little aggressive on the dust. Oh well, off we go. Maybe slow it down a little bit. Kind of feel like 10 kilometers an hour should be just about a maximum for this operation. Look at the storm it's putting up. Wow! On second thought, I think I'm just going to follow this field around the edges. So, it's going to be a slow operation, but... Yeah, the pressure's on. If I can get one wagon in... 
I can feed the cows, get them back up to 100% production, because right now we're at 63, which is completely unacceptable. We're losing thousands of dollars a day in milk production. And we need to get that changed as soon as possible. So, just going to make the corner a little bit wide to be able to get this in. That's good. Everything seems to be nominal back there. There you have it. So I am hoping to get at least two wagons of um, of straw in before the end of the season. So we shall see eventually if that suffices for 50 cows. You got to remember, I mean, straw is actually not that expensive. You don't get much for it, but buying it in is not that big a deal. So if push comes to shove, we'll buy in straw. The whole idea of this, though, is self-sufficiency, so the more we produce, the less we pay. Sure would be nice if uh, we had a big farm where we could sell a surplus, but that's not what this particular game is about. and gentle okay first row up it's not a massive amount of straw maybe we could speed it up a little bit and up to 14 There's no real risk of jamming up the feeder because, you know, we were using a rather small combine. No, uh, I think I think I think I think I changed my mind. I'm going to get rid of all of these headlands and then we'll come back afterwards and clean up the in the interior. good though I do like the small bales especially when it comes time to making mixed ration with that little uh, mixer it's gonna be super simple take the small tractor to the barn put in the stuff put in the scoop of silage to top it up we can do that every morning during the winter every morning after that just a few little hand bales no need to get out the forks Just enjoy that kind of uh, production. Might be nice if there was a little bit less dust on that baler. We could actually see what we're doing. Somebody went a little crazy with the particle animation on that. The thing about these little balers is that it would be really nice to have one where you had to restock the string and maintain it and lubricate it and stuff like that. Because when you get down to sort of a hands-on farming like this, Taking care of your equipment is 90% of the battle. Okay. So let's fill up this trailer.
Okay, I feel like we're almost there. Maybe one more row. Got a couple of extra bales in the chimney, in the, um, in the chute. So let's stop right there. Stop the machine. And push out the bales. Two, three, four. Hmm. Maybe a few more. Like four or five more. There we go. Three more. Oh, you know what? That's not a bad deal. Let's do that. Close enough. Fold that up for transportation. Okay, how do we get that through there now? to drive straight through to get back out of here. Okay, I'm going to need a bigger swing at this, I think. So let's go ahead and go around the back and we'll come back around this way. Okay. The baler here I think is gonna be the real problem. Although now that I'm looking at it, I've made a complete mess of everything. Okay. Let's try going this way a little bit more. Okay. Right through. Excellent. Okay. Beautiful. And unload. Perfect. Let's just do a little bit of cleanup here. I'm taking a little bit of a hit on FPS because of the sheer volume of things I got here. No biggie though, because we'll be reducing these in no time at all. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this guy over here for now, because we need to take care of our cows 
right now before the sun goes down. I can always just go back and finish this whole thing here up. Okay, so the other thing we need is this silage pit opened. So let's just do that. Open them up. There we go. Okay. Get rid of some of these tires. We'll just throw those back onto the back over there. We can be neater with them later on. But basically, we're just going to open this pit as much as we need to to get a bucket load out of it. No more. So that we can preserve this stuff when the snow flies. Okay, we'll clean that up afterwards. Let's see here. Where's my little loader? Here he is. Good. So this bucket holds roughly 2,400 liters of silage. So we'll make sure we put that much into the mixer. The thing is, right now, the thing we have the most of is silage. So if we cheat our percentages a little bit heavy on the silage, this would not be a horrible thing to do. There we go. Not too much in. Okay. Just need to go up to this guy. Out of the way, Whitey. Okay, let's see if we can do this without making a complete mess of it. Nice and slow. Good. Perfect. Leave that guy there. And let's go finish our mix with some hay and some straw. Good, okay, turn that off for now, and let's do this so we can see what our actual mixture is, good. So, you guys, whoa, balancing, nope, not gonna make it, okay. Some of that, some of that. Some of that. Some of that. Another bale of straw. Perfect. Okay, so let's see here. Um, we have an 86% full mixer, so we will add more straw. One more straw. And then one more hay. Ninety-four. No, hundred percent. Good. She's full up. Perfect. Now that gives us a total of 6,000 liters of uh, power food for our animals. That should be tons to hold them until the end of the day. 
Next thing I'm going to do is just go back and get some straw. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Good. So on this pass, I'm just going to use the mixer as a uh, straw breaker. Going to add some of this. This stuff they will use inside the stable and it'll kick our manure production back into gear. So let's get her going. Where do I put this stuff? Can I put it here? Nope. Huh. Well, that's not working for us. Let's see if they'll accept it in their trough. Yep, there it is. Genius. So we'll leave that guy there. We'll finish doing our uh, baling. The next bunch of bales we're actually going to bring closer to the barn itself in that little side storage area. And that should be tons. There you go. Okay. For us to mine their bedding needs. And off we go.
Okay, I think that's about as much as that one's gonna hold. So let's go ahead and fold up the baler. Uh, okay, let's empty the baler. Let's fold up the baler. I'm not going to leave these in the barn because frankly my my FPS just would not handle it. One thing to remember if you're going to do bales this way is that every one of those bales gets written into the code as a vehicle. So be careful. You can't really go too crazy with them. So, we're just going to leave them here for now, and I'll be back later to organize them. Let's just collect the loose ones, and head back to the field and finish the job. It's getting kind of late in the day, and the shadows are starting to get a little long, so... We've only got so much time left before we're not going to be able to see what we're doing. But all in all, that went pretty well. In a single day, we harvested all the wheat and managed to bale all the straw. We got our animals back up to 100% productivity. Though it's going to take a little bit more work to get them Pull up. Open that up again. Start them up. Lower the pickup. And all I've got left to do is this. So it's uh, it's probably a good place as any to leave you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode. Tomorrow I'm hoping that we will. Uh, hmm, hang on a second here. Do I need to? Yeah, there you go. Forgot to lower my pickup. Tomorrow, if everything goes well and the weather cooperates, I'm hoping we're going to be bringing in that soybean crop. We're going to sell that off directly. We're not even going to store that. I'll have to double check the price, but I don't think it's worth driving all of it back to the barn. When, quite frankly, we're going to be right beside the town and we can drop it straight off to the sellers. You guys have yourselves a great, great night, and uh, join me for more adventures tomorrow. Thank you so much.